Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Today I'm at, yes, another Perry home. I've been doing them quite a bit lately because, believe it or not, the people, my clients or potential clients, they're the one driving these videos and I've got two people maybe looking at Perry homes. They're looking for that best bang for the buck Perry home and uh, that's why we're at the community of Mills Creek in Seguin, Texas because in my opinion, this is the best bang for the buck community that builds Perry homes in it. There's nothing fancy about this community, but if you're looking for a quality home at a great price, you've got to check this community out. Um, and this time of year, Perry's got quite a few inventory homes and Perry does not like to sit on these inventory homes. So there's some huge discounts going on, but you gotta be ready to pull the trigger. And the last one I just put, made public today, I did a video on Friday and it sold that weekend. So you gotta be ready to go when these deals hit. And the house we're looking at right now is definitely one of them. Their asking price is $550,000, but I think you can get a little more off. But let's go ahead and start the tour out front. Now this beautiful home is move-in ready. It's got 3,398 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. And one of the incentives they are offering is, is either a 4.5% uh, rate or another $25,000 off. Um, like I said, you are in Seguin just off 46. Um, it's, it is about, I just measured it, a 19 minute drive to get to downtown New Braunfels, which isn't bad at all. And talking to the sales rep, for military folks, they do have a new uh, VA hospital that's in um, uh, crap, not far from here, uh, the crossings, I forget the name of the community, but that's only about a 10, 15 minute drive from here to that VA hospital, which is definitely a win. All right, talking about this house, uh, you can tell it's move-in ready. Um, the sun west is directly on this side over here. Now I've done a video tour of um, motorcycle tour of this community. I'll go and post that right up here. But this is the newer section, kind of right behind where I did the motorcycle tour. But same thing, you're gonna have quality uh, Perry homes. Uh, one of my, my clients get one that was painted white. This already has actual white brick, white mortar. But I do love the white and black accents. It's a very modern feel for the house. And this is a really cool house. I can't wait to show it off. Now we do have the construction manager inside here. He's doing some final touch-ups on this because they really want to make sure you get a quality product like this beautiful door here. Love this door. Um, but if you haven't done so already, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That does help out a lot. Now, one of the things that definitely some wow factor right when you come into this house is this beautiful spiral sta staircase that goes up to this cool little catwalk and just the ceiling feature. I mean, you're, um, I always say the Mills Creek, you're not in the most desirable neighborhoods, but you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck in this neighborhood. And this same house in say, if it was in Veramindi, would be a lot more expensive, like talking about $100,000 more expensive. So this house being listed at 550 right now, that is a steal. This would be your office, or if you took that $25,000 incentive, 525 for this house, would be amazing. But you have your office right up front, your big formal dining room, lots and lots of space in there, like the little chandelier set up. But yes, we're gonna go up here in a little bit before right now I wanna show off the downstairs, including this little cool little circle thing right there. That's such a cool little feature. But you got lots and lots of light in here. This is a two-story home, as you can tell, because of the staircase I was just talking about. But lots and lots of 20-foot high ceilings in here. Lots of natural light coming through. And remember, the sun sets on this side, so you're not going to get just baked with all the sun set here because you're going to rise on this side. So you can have natural light, but not overwhelming. Beautifully done kitchen, and I do like that they did this. This is definitely a Perry thing, so I always gotta do it now with my videos. Extra storage space underneath. There's your construction manager sneaking upstairs. Uh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, I always like looking at some of the little details, and they do like trying to make sure all these little screws are just right, and they wanna make a real perfect house for you. Um, profile and GE appliances profile is gonna be the higher end of GE. Uh, when I mentioned perfect house, there is no such thing as perfect house. So that's one of the things Perry does is they do offer a two year warranty. 
So uh, anything you find in the first two years that's wrong, they can come back and fix that. And all my clients who've built with Perry before, um, they've always said it's like Perry is very responsive and takes care of things once they do find stuff. All right, gas community. So you got your five cooktop. Nice little backsplash there. Pantry is kind of tucked away a little bit. You got your little spot for your coffee makers right there. And here is your pantry. Nice little space. Another view of the dining room we saw when we came in. All right. One of the downsides about this house is I like the location, um, but it does back up to this road. But it's also one of the reasons this house is so less expensive than other places. But the good thing is this is not a heavily traveled road. You're not going to have semi trucks and it's not like you're like 281 where it's constantly traveled road, but you do have nobody back behind you. There is a small airfield. You see a little Cessna plane right there, but you're not going to have like jets or anything screaming over you. So it's still going to be pretty quiet, except for these random phone calls that come through. But uh, porch coverings, lots and lots of coverage, porch space. So it is fairly quiet out here, except for the occasional car. And talking to the sales rep, they said they could put some more trees back here if you wanted to, but they are kind of expanding the road. I don't want to be full disclosure about everything, but this same house would be a lot more expensive somewhere else. Uh, you got three dimensional shingles up top, so it's really nice. Ooh, helicopter taking off. Um, it is plumbed for gas on the outside, so if you wanted to do a cooktop back here, uh, outdoor kitchen space, you definitely can. But lots of room up here, very cool. All right, coming back into this beautiful home. Let's go and look at the uh, garage space. It does have a three car garage, fireplace at an angle, so you could put your TV right there if you chose to. That's just gonna be a coat closet. This is gonna be your garage entry right here. So this is a three car garage, but it can be set up as a tandem. So we've got all this space here and plenty of space up front. Tankless water heater is always nice to have and plumb for water softener. You got a little mudroom space for your shoes, backpacks and all that other good stuff. And then your laundry room right here as well. Kind of your standard size laundry room. A little hang up rack and some uh, cabinets. All right, master bedroom is back there, but I'm gonna save that to the last. I wanna head on up top and show off what this cool upstairs is looking like. So this spiral staircase, I really do like it a lot. There's another plan that's real similar to this in Cibolo Canyon. It's got one square foot more, but the staircase opens in the living room. I've done videos of that plan before. And I'd said, uh, so you can imagine like home, homecoming or prom, having your daughter come walking down these staircases. That would be so cool, getting those family pictures here on the staircase. Not many plans have these little spiral staircases, but man, they look so cool. <clears throat> All right, we've got two bedrooms up on this side. A little view from above. Like I said, lots of light, big old fan there. But we've got two bedrooms on this side. Good sized bedrooms. If we can sneak in and find the construction manager doing his final touch-ups in here. He's hiding from me. All right, this is gonna be a Jack and Jill bathroom. We do have our closets, kind of right behind the bathroom sinks. Good size sink. Gonna be your shower tub combination. There's your toilet right there. And we're gonna look at the same thing on this side. Your sink, your closet, and a bedroom. All right, let's go across the catwalk. Those are some other closets there, but my client who is the reason I'm out here videoing this 
said he's got two kids that are, one's a teenager, one's in the early 20s, and they do a lot of video gaming, and he wanted a two-story home because he wants them to have their own space out of his hair, but this is ideal for that. Um, you got this huge flex room right here that you could do anything they wanted to. They really could set up like this land thing up here to do video games. And if that creates some extra noise that you don't want, this would be ideal for putting a barn door up there. There's enough space to have a barn door being all the way open there and closing if you want to wall off some of the sound of your kiddos making a lot of noise. But wait, we're not done. We've got a little space for a little movie theater set up in here. Putting some good blinds or some uh, blackout curtains there can create this a neat little movie room space. It's not gonna be the biggest of screens because they got that set up there, but <coughs> you could easily put like a 70 inch TV into this space here and kind of create your own little movie theater spot and closing the door kind of block off some of the sound. Very cool feature of this house. And we got a little extra storage in here. So if you want to have like your games or something else, it all can be put in there. And you've got attic access through that little door. All right, we actually have another bedroom well, up here. But first, here's a uh, full bathroom. So if anybody's up here, they got full bathroom access with a shower tub combination which is mostly probably be used for who's ever living in this bedroom. A little view from the street. Beautiful day in Texas. As I'm filming this, it is 7 October, 2024. But yeah, these, these build Perry homes, one of my favorite builders, why I do so many of these videos, but they do not like sitting on completed homes and they've got quite a few of them right now and let me tell you you gotta be ready to pull the trigger because these homes are going pretty fast right now especially because they've been having some really nice price cuts and uh, incentives for getting these house closed all right let's head on downstairs and do the uh master bedroom all right i normally don't go downstairs with it but with these spiral staircase i might as well There we go. But the master bedroom is gonna be a really good size. Can't wait to show that off. More of the main living space here. Trying to go slow enough to not make you guys sick by watching this. But we do have a powder room kind of tucked right off of uh, the main living space. And here comes the master bedroom. Big wall of windows right there. And kind of a really nice oversized master bedroom. So you can easily have your king size bed in here. Plenty of room on each side and even more room than you can probably figure out what to do with on that side, having your dressers and all that stuff. And plenty of space if you wanna have a TV there as well. Eight foot doors throughout the whole bottom floor of this. Going through these French doors, you get act you can see the bathroom. We're gonna have dual vanities set up. Big old soaking tub. Black with opaque windows. I hope I'm saying that word right. As in, you can't really see through. Bigger countertop here for this side. No little makeup bench though. And this is gonna be your toilet closet or water closet there. <clears throat> But I do like this shower. This is a really good sized uh, mud inset shower. It's a little small step down. Took the tile all the way up to the top, which I definitely prefer seeing. Lots of glass, but hopefully this side's not getting splattered too much because that is a pain in the butt to clean up compared to having a little brick wall there. All right, <clears throat> we've got two separate closets. This is gonna be one closet with a shoe rack or slash cowboy boot rack. Plenty of space in here for one person, actually a lot of space for one person. And then a little bit smaller of a closet on this side, which is still, should be plenty enough for one person with their shoe rack here as well, if I can get that in there. But yeah, really nice having two separate closets. That was kind of a deal breaker in the video I did for the other Perry house that got under contract like the day after I did it 
is they did like having separate closets. It's kind of why they asked me to video this house because they do like having the separate closets. And frankly, I don't blame them. So there's so much things I like about this house, especially the bang for the buck, the price, um, location. There's just not much out in this part of Seguin. Your 20 minute drive to everything in New Braunfels, which I absolutely love. The VA hospital is not too far, but yes, you do have this road behind you. And uh, hopefully that's not a deal break for my client, but talking to the sales rep, they're like, hey, let's see what they can do to make a deal to get this house closed because this is a beautiful home by one of my favorite builders. And that's a hell of a price, what they're asking for this house at, in this market right now. All right, that's the wrap tour of the 3398 plan built by Perry Homes in Mills Creek uh, communities, uh, Seguin, Texas. Um, easy access to New Braunfels, but also access to Seguin if you wanted to go over there. But the 3398 is the square footage as well. Hope you liked that video, and if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know somebody wanting to move to the area and they want all the information possible to make a good decision, have them reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final slide. And in the description box, I'm gonna link, have a link to my Calendly app. So if you wanna schedule Zoom meeting with me, you definitely can do that. All right, talk to you soon. Oh, one more thing before you click off. Um, the builder, they pay my realtor fees, so please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me. It costs you absolutely nothing to use me as your realtor, especially if you see a little value in what I do. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. <laughs> Bye.